your energy forecast for October 2024. So on October 11th, we're going to see Pluto, the great transformer, go direct at 29 degrees in Capricorn energy. This is a major event. We are definitely going to receive a few green lights, if you will, to go ahead and actually move on with some of the systems and structures and circumstances that we've really been trying to put behind us. So a little bit of a recap here, just wanna remind you that Pluto first moved into this Capricorn energy in 2008. Pluto being the great transformer through the process of death and destruction in order for a renewal, a resurrection to actually take place, the Capricorn energy was about the greater systems, foundations, structures of our society. And I think if we take a good look back and specifically take a good look at the US of A, and the reason why I say that is because the USA is actually having their Pluto return. What does that mean? 248 years, Pluto takes to go through all of the signs. And historically speaking, a civilization and an empire falls around that 248 year mark. We seen going back to 2008, the fall, the collapse of the stock market, of the housing market. We've watched the big companies fall to the ground. We have watched banking, government, healthcare, all of those very firm structured matrices that we have basically been living under get shook up, get shook up to a point to expose where there were weaknesses, where again, some of these structures needed to fall to a total collapse in order for us to build it back better again. This is not a political line. Do not even think that I am associated to either side. If you believe in politics at this point, it is a huge indicator of your intelligence, which is not a good one, okay? If you're still consumed with the game, then you, my friend, are still stuck in the framework of the matrix, and it is time for us to pull ourselves out. Anywho, different topic, different theme. We, society, and individually have been really taking a good look at our physical realms, at where it is that we have power and control or don't over certain, certain situations and circumstances. And of course, Pluto at the beginning part of this 2008 transit really needed to, again, shake things up to illuminate the weakest of links. We got midway in this particular transit. We started to actually see where certain aspects, certain structures, foundations within the systems that govern our society, where there were some pivot points, where, again, we're exposing the weakest parts of where it is that we can no longer continue going the way that we're going. And now, as of the most recent, of years, we're actually starting to see where the exposure of these dark societies, these dark groups, these dark controlling forces are actually coming to light. So here we have Pluto, the great transformer himself, who was in this Aquarius energy very briefly, giving us a taste on what basically the next 20 years will look like because we will have Pluto be in Aquarius energy until 2044, giving the power back to the people, hel helping us to reform, restructure, redesign, rearrange how society operates, how society looks. And in our own individual lives, depending on where this Capricorn slash Aquarius energy is in your chart, that is where the major change, the major transformation has been taking place over the course of this Plutonian transit. So Pluto stationed retrograde back in May. We were at two degrees in Aquarius energy at that particular time. Now here, October 11th, we are going direct at 29 degrees in Capricorn energy. Again, 29 degrees is a super karmic degree. It's a point of mastery, but it's also a crisis point because we have to hurry up and learn this freaking lesson. This is going to be the last time in any of our lifetimes that 
we get to see Pluto move through this Capricorn energy. So this is going to be a pivotal time and this is going to take us all the way up to November 19th when we move out of this Capricorn energy and we move into the Aquarius energy permanently again till 2044. So here's the thing. While Pluto was retrograde, we were taking a good look at what still had power and control over us, where it is that we were held back, where it is that we were limited in taking action, in making moves to help free ourselves. Now, again, we've had a lot of different energies come at us over the course of the last five months, really putting into perspective the karmic hand in which we've been dealt, especially coming out of this most recent eclipse season. We're now starting to see where all the cards have fallen, the hand that we actually have to play. And now with Pluto going direct, we are definitely in a boss up situation, a more powerful placement of authority in our lives to make some serious, profound changes in our physical realm. This is the last hurrah to kind of clean sweep the leftover debris. And in some cases, we're going to bring the wrecking ball in and have a final go at certain structures, certain foundations that definitely need to be demolished. So again, when a planet comes out of a retrograde and goes direct, the energy moves from our inner realm, the internalized energy to the external realm. Now we're going to be able to kind of see the change that were forced upon us, see the changes that we have power and control over to actually alter and make happen. And we are going to boss up in ways that we haven't been bossing up in, in order to take power and control back. We have no problem taking certain situations and aspects into our own hands and making the necessary changes, the alterations to our physical realm to help free us from a lot of the restrictions, a lot of the blockages, a lot of the challenges that we have been banging our head against a wall about. Now, interestingly enough, just a couple of days ago, on the 9th, we had Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, blessings, go retrograde. So that energy is now internalized for us to review and reflect on how far it is that we've actually been able to come since May with new ideas, with new perspectives, with new thoughts, with new opinions, with integrating the information and knowledge that we've learned in previous tough love life lessons into our present day. But Jupiter is now now sitting on the sidelines, if you will, Pluto is taking center stage and he is definitely going to be blazing a path from where it is that we're at to where it is that we need to be in a very short amount of time. I think it's also interesting that here yesterday on October 10th, we had our first quarter moon phase pop off in Capricorn energy. Again, the Capricorn energy is the physical realm. It is the long term foundations and structures that again, that old version of self had built, had brought to life, had created that again, this new version of self feels like we no longer resonate with. The first quarter moon is bringing into realization where action needs to take place. Again, we are wrapping up a very long system, a very long cycle, and the epiphanies that are popping off, the changes that need to be made, the aspects on our to-do list are coming with a lot more urgency. So with Pluto now moving forward, he is going to be very aggressive in closing the door on particular cycles and chapters and aspects of the old version of self, of that old world that the old version of self has created in order to clear a path for us to move on and move forward in the most empowered type of way. So again, I am going to encourage you to download your October energy guide for your specific zodiac and flip to this particular chapter in the workbook and really capture what is going on for you where there's a new warrior mood and attitude really emerging in order for you to take charge, take control of the things that, again, were kind of dealt to you unfairly. And again, we're going to make the most beautiful lemonade out of all of the lemons that have been thrown at us, not only over the course of the last five months, but essentially since 2008.